Hello guys and welcome to this year's first episode of Two Decks, One Cup. Now, I know a lot has happened uh, since the last Two Decks, One Cut episode. Um, obviously, that was even before COVID. So it has been that long. So a good couple of years. Uh, but we are back and we are planning to get all of our YouTube series back on track. So that's Ready, Steady, Read. That's Hidden Treasures. And of course, this one, Two Decks, One Cut. Uh, obviously, Ready, Steady, Read with Andy Smith. Hidden Treasures with my dad, Pete and Ardy, And then obviously, Two Decks, One Cut. You guys are here. So if you don't want to miss another episode of one of the series that you guys know and love, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also tap the little bell icon because then you get a notification every time we upload. So what am I talking about this year? Now, this was a brand new one, okay? It's just come in, but I'm loving it. Well, it's new to us, okay? But I am absolutely loving it. This week, I am talking about Big Blind by John Morton. Now, if you guys don't know John Morton, I don't know where you've been. He's got great creations like Twins and The Baby Book. All of his methods are super simple, but every single one of his effects packs a punch. Now, I've always loved casino type uh, effects, whether it's gambling themes or even if it just involves poker chips, I will most probably like it. Uh, a great effect as well was one called Casino Con, uh, which I love and I've got one of those. But this one, again, was slightly different, a bit more psychological, but yeah, I enjoy it. Let's check out a performance. Right, Aaron, we're gonna do a psychological game, okay? Uh, now, I've got five different colored cards there. So we've got obviously, uh, blue, red, white, black, and green. And I've got the same five colors here, okay? So one set for me, one set for you, all right? Uh, we've also got a poker chip, which obviously corresponds to a colored card. So we've got a red one, we've got a green one, we've got a blue one, we've got a black one, we've got a white one, okay? Now, what we need to do is scoop up your cards and give them a mix, all right? Give them a proper good shuffle up. And I'm just gonna prove just how hard this is and impossible, all right? So give them a mix, and once you've done it, Turn them face down and just lay them in a pile. So just put five in a row. Perfect, yep. Perfect. Now obviously each one of them cards has got a colour on the face. What I want you to do is take the poker chips and I want you to just try and, only using your mind and sort of gut instincts, try and work out what colour is on what. So just place, yeah, one on each card. Okay, now how did you do that? Just a guess, isn't it really? Yeah. yeah just a guess, right? That is how hard it is, okay? So we'll see how you've done. We'll go here, okay? So, what? Oh, that's not bad. Green, oh, okay. Blue, black. Well, do you know what? Two out of five is good going. Two out of five is really good. But obviously that is just luck. That's pure luck. Now I'm gonna try the same thing, but obviously with luck, there's no way I can really do it. So I need you to know what colors they are and then I'm gonna try and read your mind. So take the cards up again, give them a mix up, and this time lay them face down again for me. Again, in any order you want, you can do there, 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 it doesn't really matter. Lovely. Now again, I'm gonna try and do what you've done, but I need you to know what the card is, I'm gonna try and read your mind. And to make it even more exciting, I want you to look at the card, and I want you to put a poker chip down in front of it. All right, but here's the thing, you can lie or you can tell the truth, but I've got to try and work out what you're doing, okay? So if you look at this card and it's a black poker chip, you don't have to put the black poker chip on there, okay? You can put the green one on there and try and throw me off, all right? I'm gonna try and match my cards with yours, all right? So, okay. go for it. So take a look at the first card, work out what you wanna go for, and then put a poker chip in front of it. Obviously, don't let me see, I'm not gonna look. Okay, so remember, well, you put can, one in front of it. Yeah, so you can lie or tell the truth, remember? But the main reason why I got you to look at the cards is because once it's in your mind, oh, do all of them. Yeah, go for oh, all of them. Okay. And once you know them in your mind, that is where I can reach in and hopefully take them out because I am a mind reader. Yeah. Never know when you've done it. Done. Okay. Um, so you obviously could have lied, you could have told the truth. Okay. We're going to give this a go. So, number one. Five different colours. Just think if you've lied or if you've told the truth. Oh, do I need to remember? Okay, take a peek at the first one, all right? Tough crowd, take a peek. All right, don't let me see. Okay. You got it? Okay, awesome. Okay. I'm gonna go for this one. All right, I think you've started off with a lie, but I'm not gonna say anything else. Uh, you put smile, so you lied on the first one, take it. But we'll go for the next one this time. Red. Okay. 
Alright. No, do you know what? I'm confident of that. I don't think you have lied on that one. I'm gonna be open on that one, I reckon. You've got red on that one. Right, next one. Okay, you've gone green. Uh, Alright, two more. This is hard. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go like that. Okay, I'm gonna lay them down, all right? So you mix up the cards around, you lay them face down, and then you even put a random color poker chip next to each card, okay? You could have lied, you could have told the truth. So you put a black poker chip near this card. Now show the guys, what did you go for? White. You, well, she's a liar, all right? You went white, all right? Now, hopefully, we've got a perfect match with the first card, all right? Go for the second one. Now, I thought you were telling the truth on this one. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Now again, I don't know why, I thought you would lie, tell the truth, and I reckon you told the truth again a uh, second time in a row. So on the count of three, turn it over, one, two, three. Perfect match. And the last two, just point to one of your cards. And hopefully, yeah, turn it over. There's four out of four, which means surely we've got five out of five. Now you can't lie to me, all right? Beautiful, <laughs> well done. So that was a quick performance of, well, it wasn't actually that quick. And that's the great thing about this game, you can drag it out. But that was a performance of Big Blind by John Morton. Now, everything you see in there, the poker chips and the, fi and the five cards, uh, so you get 10 cards in total, everything you receive in the package as well as the instructions, of course. Now, you get video instructions as well as written ones, so you can start learning it as soon as you get it out of the package. Now, the props are really well made. Um, they're going to last you ages, obviously. Just don't put them in water, and they're going to last you a lifetime. Um, and they're really cool. And I've always wanted to do, like, a colour match effect because I think it's so powerful. But I think when you add that extra layer of the poker chip on top of it, it just makes it more intriguing, you know? It's not just cards. You've got poker chips. And that is also another hidden sort of psychological layer which your spectator can really get involved in, whether they're lying or if they tell the truth. It's such good fun. The great thing about this as well is you're going to look like a pro as soon as you get it out of the package because it is so simple to do. All you have to do is think about your patter, the storyline you want to do. And like I said, once you get a hold of it, you can go wherever you want. I've just done a streamlined, straight to the point performance for you guys, just so you can see roughly what it does. But it is so, so powerful. I really, really rate this. And for less than £20, I don't think you can go wrong with it. Like I said, you get everything you need in there. The method is simple but cheeky. Uh, you're going to look like a proper psychological expert. And you've got the hook of poker chip, gambling type routines and things like that. And of course, if you really think about it, you can start having uh, other effects link into it. Um, for example, we've got what happens in Vegas. You put what happens in Vegas uh, with the sting and this, and you've got a perfect gambling effect, which has cards. It's got uh, card sharp type skills and also mind reading and psychological uh, type skills as well. So a nice little set there if you want a Vegas themed effect. Also, check out Vegas Choice uh, by Ace Magic Studio and Alexam. Another great Vegas themed effect. Uh, this one, a mentism one with a diary. Uh, so it's really, really cool. But yeah, so this episode anyway was all about Big Blind by John Morton. I really, really like this. This is my copy. I'm going to be taking it around with me. Great for walk around and also great when you're doing tables and you want a little bit of a longer piece. But yeah, I love it. Big Blind, John Morton. Check it out now, guys. Uh, www.alakazam.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Two Decks, One Cut. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to smash the thumbs up button and let me know what you want to see next, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. This series is normally about things that I like to perform, but if you guys want to see my opinion on anything, just let me know in the comment section below. Cheers, guys.